Can you hear me now? Anyone? I mean, OBS says it's working. What does OBS know? Okay, good. Sound better than usual? What's in here, a broom? Totally gonna use this for something. Alrighty. Alrighty. I just been like talking to myself like this whole time. Hmm.
What if I put the broom head inside of the air vent thing? I wasn't gonna try to clean it, jeez. Ooh. This might be electrical. Ooh, biohazard. That can be only a good sign, I'm sure. So there's like a slaughterhouse next to the hospital. That sounds sensible. What is? Oh, turpentine. Take some paint. Or not. Do, 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 do. Let's go down the drain. Let's see. Oh, not that he's looking for me or anything. What's this? What's that? What's this? Okay, so future. Oh. Okay. This is certainly going to be a good idea. Let's get the wa the bee nest. The wa hornet's nest. Yep. It's going to be a great idea. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Blow things up. Where's the turpentine, though? Okay, let's go over here. Biohazard material. Okay, where's my beating stick, though? Maybe if I beat it with the broom. Dang it, why can't I keep my materials that I find? Actually... Let's go back in time. Yes. Let's paint things. The broom head. Okay, let's light the paint on fire. Dang it. Future? Ooh. Huh. Now I can use the broom. Ah, it's a pothole lid. Get the manhole cover off. Let's see. I go in here. Oh, this looks promising. Meat hook. 
Let's see what else I want to do that's useful. Okay. Okay. Going in. This is going to come in handy, I'm sure. Future. Oh, gosh. Can't see shit. Bar, that makes sense. Metal things. Let's hit the metal things. Yeah, I don't have any idea. I'm gonna need something that is gonna double as a light source. Let's see. Back to the present. something something rubble okay Set off explosives. <sighs> well, looks like I know where we're going. Oh, I can hit this in the future. What's this? Is this a oh, it is a bone saw. Mm, then I can use this on this. Toilet alligator, totally legit. Bees, bro. Oh, 
137 stingers, Jesus Christ. Bone saw time, darn it. Oh, okay. So if I go to the future and I fill it with turpentine, Just take the turpentine. I saw the turpentine. Dang it. Is there anything else in this container? Anything at all. Second, no, uh, those blades don't work. No, no, I'm not trying to get closer to the bees. Actually, in the future. Turpentine lighter. I need a container or something. Maybe I can get into the meat place. Maybe in the future. Oh, 
That's a good point. Right, I forgot about this place. Maybe this will help. Let's go into the future. something switch oh boy Is this a syringe? I can use it to put the fluid in the lighter and explode something up, maybe. Future. Okay, well. Man. Okay. set that that wasp nest on fire maybe future Was that wasp's nest? going through there. I need to find that wasp nest. The wasp nest. Hornet nest? Oh. 
Oh, I know. That's right. The future with the... Or no, the past with the stuff in the way. Like with the woodman comment. But just on the tree. I did just use it on the tree. Wait, wait. That's right. Because in the sewer. Okay, hold on. The hobo thing. So I can, hey, um, so I'm gonna smoke out those bees. Let's do this. Where were those bees? Anyhow. go. Take that, you striped murderers. Okay, here we go. The corpse. Not for sh foreboding or not foreshadowing at all. Wait, wait, I can 
could try getting out underneath the bottom of the garage. Okay. Ouch. Tools, tools, tools. somewhere in here I am doing okay I'm just glad that I got my headset back oh these might be tools tire iron there we go you can check the other places though okay then I guess I know what I have to do address. Okay, where am I supposed to find that? Hmm. How are you doing today? Oh, it's an open. go into the gaping hole on the floor. That's always the best idea. Oh, hello. I bet I have to find the cadaver. Scissors can come in handy. Ow. Should have got a tetanus shot. Future. as much. Well, time to go to the car.
This might be good. To the notes say oh psh, doctor's handwriting Patient records. Wait a second. It reads to that cabinet. So, but hey. Upside down tree, not exactly. Wait. Figured about as much. The day that everything went to hell. Nope. Uh, wait, where were those wires? wires mm -hmm. I don't think it was in here
Maybe in room B? Here we go. Power with the battery. Wow. Key. Must be to the chest. That should be the patient piles. But it wouldn't be in here, would it? Oh, time to find out. No, I don't think so. Was hit in room A. Yes. Damn. Patient five. Okay, well, it's a good thing that I have all of that in order. To the garage. Wait, that's not the garage. Where's the garage? I guess this way. This is the garage. Yep, pretty sure it is. I just go to the future. Oh, right. Yeah. Carjack. Here, out on the road. Everything seems so normal. Same moon, same night sky. After an hour of driving, it's easy to forget all about that dead world back there. How could Lambert have survived, though? If you are Lambert. Future, how did he not die along with everybody else? I just saw his body in the morgue. Now I'm driving out to talk to him alive. How does that work? Do you just leave a copy of yourself every time you use the box? Is that it? Are there copies of me all over the place now? Oh boy. What if he's not there? What if I changed something and he's not alive at all? Maybe all of this has been completely pointless. Maybe there's nothing I can do after all. Maybe these will be my last days, along with everybody else's. Ugh, the thought ties my stomach in knots. No, I better just not think about it and carry on. Yep, that's the spirit. Did I bring enough gas? Oh, that's not the God, spirit. I hope I brought enough gas. from worrying about one thing to another thing to another thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Ooh. They got an award in physics. This is the future. Man. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Well, I mean, small island. Okay. Fine, I need to find a way to get the water out of the boat. Let's use this as a cup. Ores. Okay, well, I'm gonna take something out. Okay. Hmm. Unless I can get them siphon the fuel out of the car. Okay, so I take the cap off with the, I guess the jack. Okay. Yes. When I was a little lad, and so my mother told me, Way haul away, we'll haul away, Joe. Okay. Let's see. Crocodiles. Again. Clearly not gonna. Man. Okay, what am I gonna do then? Let's see, is there a doorbell? Surely there's a doorbell.
Oh, psh. Let's use the jack. There you go. And then I'll be using this for something. Maybe for the fence. Oh. Shit. There really is a crocodile. Just gonna, oh yeah, I can't go to the... Okay. Fine. We're gonna be that way then I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Not that, this. I wasn't kidding about the crocodiles. Okay, there has to be a lot. Oh, okay, right there. E. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there is in here for now. Okay. Hey. It's a fish. Hmm. Oh, come on. Mm 
that's pretty pointless. What am I going to do with this fish? Oh, for the alligator. Right. Yes. Good old logic there. Ooh. Chainsaws can only come in handy. No gas. Well, I mean, it's not like get in the house. Are you sure crocodiles or alligators are illegal to have as pets? The sand? Oh, wait a second. A wall. We can use moonshine as fuel. It is ethanol. And again, what would I be using it on? The door? Why'd I explain this? Nobody would hear a chainsaw. Gosh. Let's see, here it's an impossible shape. Hmm. Hmm. 
don't go going in circles. I never thought about it like that. sense that he'd make a time travel thing. Works screw. Must use them as like fire stuff. A rifle. I don't even. And there's a key on the keys. Check under the carpet. Nice. Good. Suspected as much. There's one missing. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. I think if we can figure out what the other button is. to be a bottle. And that has to be the key. Press the button. Far out. Far out. Okay. This lamp. Hmm. 
now. Okay then. I doubt this will do anything, but okay. elsewhere. Plug it in. Hmm. This will come in handy. Okay. Dang it. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, maybe that won't work. I don't ever happen to alligator. Extinguisher. You idiot. Hmm. Bash it in with a fire extinguisher. What could the twig possibly be used for?
but okay. What can I use this twig for? Oh, here we go. This one looks rusted. water Not sure what I'm looking for here. 
Yeah, I know. second. Has to be. Dang it. What am I looking for here? trying to do Might have been a hint. Anybody have any ideas? I'm a little bit stuck here. This will be a great idea. I get to a quick. Uh, 
the trash can. Oh wait, the photo room. Right, the vines. Okay. Liquid, liquid, liquid.
future, past. Okay, photo lab. What can I do to get that axe? Okay, that's great, but while everything's burning down, you think... <sighs> I'm gonna put this fire out. Dang it. This is a hard one. Wait a second, he had water condensation coolers. But where? Was it at the top? It must have been. Yes. There you go. Gotcha.
I will axe through everything. Fine. Okay, so... Oops. <clears throat> this must lead to someplace else that has a wine bottle. Okay. Nope. Darn it. What can I use the lava lamp for? Right, wall socket, so it has to be in the future. Dang it. 
Am I supposed to plug this thing in then? Wait a second, was that a wall socket? Let's see. Needs to be a wall socket. Ah. Uh, somehow I must save the world with this lava lamp. If I put the fire lamp or the lava lamp in the fire. What do you think is legit fire? Or lava? Then where's the... Pretty sure I can't plug it into the other lamp. It would make sense. Okay, time travel. Not the blueprints, no. something in this room. Okay. get into a tree because that's what makes sense. I don't even know. But there are no sockets. Actually, what's the future place like here? Look. Ooh, there's a little socket.
There's a bottle. That's the bottle I need. Okay, okay. Anything else useful around here? Well, I know what to do now. Open sesame. Yeah. Oh. Stop right there. Oh. Whoa, whoa, wait. Uh, Mr. Lambert, sir, it's me, Joe. I don't know you. What are you doing in my house? Y you, you sent me here, remember? I've done no such thing. For an intruder, you're not very bright, you know that? For all the commotion you caused getting in here, you might as well have brought a bulldozer. Now, you have exactly five seconds to explain what you're doing here. Or so help me God, I'm pulling this trigger and sending you on your way. Five. I, I, I was sent here. Four. Why you? Three. You told me to find you, to warn you about the end of the world. Two. You were old, uh, with white hair, and you got shot. Oh, God, please don't shoot me, Mr. Lambert. This, this, you gave me this. Uh, it's an inter-something, uh, chrono. It's a time machine. Huh. I gave you that? Yes! I've never seen anything like it, but on the back, that's my family signet. I made this? It's simply magnificent. I gave this to you? Why? Who are you? Name's Joe, sir. I, I'm, I'm just a janitor at the Archon building. I found you in a room with a big, round door in the basement labs this morning, and you, you were dying. You said you'd come from 40 years in the future to stop the end of the world. I guess I was the only one around, so you gave me this and told me to find you and tell you all this, and I've been there. The future, I mean. A bunch of times. And you were right, Mr. Lambert. Everyone's gone. My God, so it did come to pass. They really did it, those greedy goddamn bastards. I told them this would happen. Wait, I was dying? How? You said you've been shot. I had to actually find you at the, uh, uh, the morgue to get this address. Shot? By whom? No, wait. Don't say anything else. You succeeded in finding me, which means anything you tell me from this point on could alter the course of action that brought you to my doorstep. The less I know, the better. So, you've seen the future. <laughs> what did you see? It's like a bad dream, sir. Everyone's gone. Buildings are coming apart. It's all just... quiet. What happened, Mr. Lambert? It is Doctor. Doctor Lambert. And considering all the effort you just went through to find me, not to mention bearing witness to the horrific outcome of the biggest breakthrough in the history of science, I suppose I owe you some kind of explanation. Oh boy. No, not the cat. I was 24 when I got hired by Archon, or Athena as it was called back then. Athena was one of the many weapons R&D companies formed during the Second World War. Unlike other R&D companies that had retooled themselves to pursue peacetime activities after the war, 
Athena had made enough money to continue chasing the next big thing in defense technologies. They were betting the farm on post-war Soviet expansion, raising the level of government paranoia to create a lucrative market for esoteric weapons research. No. I'd say they made the right bet. Still a theoretical physicist at MIT, my thesis on the possibility of time travel via dimensional membranes got published shortly after I was hired in 1961. Company heads were so impressed, they gave me a team and a budget. Development exceeded even my own expectations. And after only six years, we had the first primitive version of the time machine up and running. Our first successful trials involved sending simple objects into the future with a timed return. But with Archon running out of money, that was all the company bigwigs needed to secure a big fat contract with the Department of Defense. Apparently, we had sold them on the idea that the technology could be used to go back in time and strangle communism in its cradle. The reality, of course, was that it couldn't. Due to the laws of causality, you can't travel back in time beyond the point where time travel was invented. And sooner or later, we had to explain that to our benefactors. When they started pushing for progress reports, Archon management had to come clean, but instead chose to ease government concerns by claiming the technology could be used to bring back advanced weapons from the future. Uh. But this, too, was a lie. At this point, we'd already had our first of many human trials, and we knew there would be no weapons. In fact, our results were as terrifying as they were baffling. Time pilots returned frenzied and confused, raving about empty streets and human remains. At first, we assumed the city had suffered a Soviet attack in the near future and had been evacuated as a result. But as we pushed on further, the terrible reality became clear. Time pilots started returning fatally ill, dying within a day or two from painful convulsions. Some never returned. We lost several pilots, machine prototypes, and other equipment. When the first contamination erupted in the lab, we were completely unprepared, losing three lab technicians to what we later identified as an incredibly aggressive airborne virus. Uh-oh. Although we weren't equipped to handle biohazards of this magnitude, management insisted we contain and study it. To keep our pilots and the virus alive long enough to study, we co-opted experimental cryotechnology from another project, Lazarus, and established a makeshift virus lab. More than Morgan Freeman? Once again, the bigwigs managed to spin our setbacks into a success story for the Department of Defense now claiming that the virus could be cultivated for use as a biological oh, weapon. Oh, God. The team threatened to resign, but outrage was swiftly quenched by promises of massive salary increases and stock options. I didn't take the bribe. I'd witnessed the lethal efficiency of the virus firsthand. I knew there was only one way this was going to end, so I handed in my resignation and set up shop out here. For over a year, I've been working to recreate the technology to bring me back in time and prevent mankind's extinction from ever happening. And now you're here, the harbinger of doom at my doorstep, wearing a boiler suit. Who could have imagined that Judgment Day would begin like any other Monday in May? In any case, 
Unfathomable as it may be that you were able to bring this information to me. Knowing is only half the battle. Preventing the outbreak will require more than just your tenacity. Me? Wait, what? Yes, I'm afraid I must rely on you one more time. You must go back to Archon and prevent the outbreak. How in the fuck? No, no, that that's, uh, I mean, I'm really honored and everything, but... Believe me, you're the last person in the world I want to entrust with this, and I mean that quite literally. But by this time tomorrow, <laughs> the entire city will have succumbed to chaos, panic, and death. You're here now, and you're all I've got. Wait, but what about you? Can't you fix this, Doc? Don't you have a plan? I can't go myself, because that would break the law of causality. The only reason you are here to warn me now is because I was there to send you. And the only reason I was there to send you is because I was able to bring my work to fruition here. But... We've no time to waste. <laughs> it's the only way. You told me you found me this morning, correct? Yes, but... That means I failed to stop it, and the outbreak has already begun. The time pilot for today's trials must have brought the virus back from the future, which then somehow got out of the containment chamber and spread. That pilot is patient zero. I need you to destroy the supercomputer system controlling the time machine. All the research data is stored there too. You must destroy it before the time machine departs. I'm reconfiguring your device to send you back one day earlier. This should allow you ample time to return to Archon and get inside. On the other shore from here, about 500 yards down the road, is a rest stop. You'll find a van there, fueled and ready to go. Oh, I already have a ride. Which won't be there yesterday, you ninny. <laughs> stop interrupting me. One last thing, and I need you to listen carefully because this is very, very important. Make sure you do not meet the earlier version of you. Why? What will happen? No one knows for sure. It's one of the conundrums not yet accounted for. There are theories, of course. None of them pleasant. Now, let's get you ready. I guess I'm gonna have to kill uh, the friend, the person who's working with him? Co-worker? Hmm, the elevator. How did I get myself into this? I nearly got killed trying to reach Dr. Lambert, thinking he had a plan. And it turns out it's me. I'm the plan. At least I don't have to walk back. This van's not as cool as the ambulance, but it has its charm. And it sure was nice of him to pack me lunch. <laughs> I wish he'd pack me a can opener for the beans, though. And some gas for the Bunsen burner. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll think of something. I've got several hours of driving ahead of me after all. It'll be almost morning before I get to Archon. I just hope I have enough time. Wait, how will you know he won't get infected by the virus too? The Neon Nightclub? The hell? Okay. Whatever. Ah. Uh. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> 
right on time. Welcome to the hippest joint in town, my man. We so underground, we literally four steps below the tarmac. Now, what can I do for you? Actually, I just saw the sign. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Of course you do. You here because you heard this place was jumping. And you heard right, my man. We got grooves so bad, we make Studio 54 look like off-season fat camp. It's kind of empty in here. Yeah, no, I know, man. We literally just opened like five minutes ago. They, they coming. They all coming. Don't you worry. You're gonna be knee-deep in honeys for you. Oh, my no, God. Leave that. Now, uh, what can old Cedric get you? I don't know. I could use a beer, I guess. A beer? A beer? In here? You embarrassing me here, bud. I got university degrees in mixonomy and mixology. I mix mojitas for the gods. Just a beer, please. Man, you really going through with all that, ain't you? All right, seeing as you're the first patron of the night and all, uh, I'll let you have that one. That'll be a dollar. A dollar? Jeez. You sure weren't kidding about this being a high-class joint. Look, I don't jack the prices, kid. This here establishment is just geared towards a more, shall we say, discerning clientele but it's empty yeah 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 thank you man i got that i know it's empty all right i can see that i told you we just opened now you gonna pay for that beer or what i i think i left my wallet in my jacket i'll be right back oh i'll be here and to press the button grab the disco ball and get the hell out of here hey don't you be touching that. Sorry. Just looking. JK. Hmm. Oh, parking meter. Gobbles time. Gobble times. I got it. If I break it open. Is that a dollar? Please be a dollar. Break those things open somehow. How to break open the parking meters? Maybe I can run into it. Seeing as I'm not going to be using this car anymore, as far as I know. No, wait, past. Duh. Naturally. Okay, you know what?
And he's not even concerned. He'll get like the virus that everybody, that's killed everybody. Do not press. And then oh you know what hang on Hang on. So, Friedman. might one find it. wonder if this even works. Oh, zero, zero, zero. That is such a smart password. Hang on. Next pile. Hang on. Put a quarter in it, what will happen? Put a quarter in the other one. Will I get the lottery? Like beer. Now where am I going to find another 25 cents or 50 cents? How to cheat the parking meters. Can I haggle? Where, el where else am I supposed to find quarters? Like for reals? Sorry. Uh, so stupid. Quarter fetch quest. quarters for
Well, you never know. Wait, wait, in the future? Oh, can I get something that will allow me to go down there without killing myself? Wait. Hang on. Of course the keypad won't work. Ah. Steal the disco ball. Break break the parking meters. Hang on. May nineteenth. Hang on. How it I thought it all happened in a day. What the hell? Maybe I can use this to get it open? Never know. Dang it. Man, there's so few resources around here. To be honest, I'm not that surprised I'm having difficulty here. These puzzles have been getting progressively harder. window close window okay here we go now the achievements in the way ah hmm. let's see how far am I So I'm pretty close, I think, to the- I'm getting closer to the end, definitely. Just like reject the beer. Oh, 
wait a second. Cable. Indeed, that could come in handy. Oh, for what though? <gasps> I know. Wow, that actually worked okay. And I have 50 cents. Jeez, went now looking for another 50 cents in the subway. Payphone. Need to break it open. Dang it. Ah, there's like two quarters. Perfect. One short bent. Something longer, huh? Actually, let's see what's this place in the future. Let's see what this looks like. Awesome. Well, okay. Well, that was quick death to everybody. This will give me leverage. Sir, would you kindly step away from there? Okay, how about I unplug this? Or how about I go outside and unplug it? Yeah, the past payphone, obviously.
all this for a beer. Right. Future. I've changed my mind. For the money, give me the fanciest drink you've got. Okay, now's the time. Press the button. The hell out of here. It's like the universe just revealed all of its secrets inside my mouth. Okay, can I take it with me? Sweet mercy. It's like riding <laughs> sidecar with a unicorn <laughs> down a mountain of cashmere sweaters. Um... No, I couldn't. Actually, maybe I can. I'll have to check. Oh, mama. That's good. But I've been enjoying these uh, comments too much. Oh, baby. You're not like the others. We're not hitchhiking anymore. <laughs> We're riding. Okay, I'm Man, done. That's... It's like the universe just... Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, wait. I was going to go to the... Subway, so... Disco ball, what the hell am I going to use that for? Yeah, it's nice to see you here, if I didn't already say so. Yeah, I guess that's a no. Dark area. Oh, disco ball for redirecting light. Perfect. Let's hang it up. Whoa. Screwdriver and I can get in that vent. Perfect. Mm. Otherwise, there doesn't seem very much things of use. Okay. Oh no. Dang it. another way. I'm gonna use this for...
Okay, right, so I need to climb back up. Maybe I can unhinge the quarter machine. Take off the license plate and use that? I don't know. Oh, maybe behind the welder. Okay, so I unscrewed the power source. Team before he had the chance to step out. No, he wouldn't. Okay. Something else, something else. That's just the door. Sir, would you kindly step away from there? It's not safe. Back to the past. Okay. Doesn't explain how everything like decomposed this way though. I can use this Dang it. Okay, 
people. Right. Maybe in the future. Every possible combination I can think of. just experienced a total taste revolution. I ain't never seen nobody look so troubled. What's on diet? Well, that's kind of it. It does. I mean, if I fail, that'll be the end of it, you know? Oh, I know where you coming from, Chen. You... you do? Oh, sure I do. Right now, you're probably asking yourself, how many nights I gotta go through this before I get it right? When do I get to unleash the lion? <laughs> Can't even remember how? Well, take it from Seven. You just hit a rough patch is all, man. It ain't the end of the world. What? No, no, I'm, I'm... Oh, I read you loud and clear, Mac Daddy. Don't you worry about a thing. When the honeys come in tonight, you just stick to the bar and keep my God. I got you covered. Tonight is the night, man. Believe that. By the way, and I gotta ask, what's up with them threads, man? That's gotta be the most unique night on the town get up I ever seen. Huh? Oh, this. Well, I came straight from work, so. Well, I dig it, eh? So keep it right up, man. It might just become the next big thing. God. Okay, so the decomposing vent. When you say that, what do you mean? Oh. Wait, I think I know what you mean, actually. Back in the subway. That's the only one I did try it on, I think. Well then, the blood. Well, uh. Oh, okay. It's not very safe.
Okay. That's where it flows. It's just that I go through so many things I can't remember which things I have and have not done. It's hard. Let's see. Uh, hat. Well, then what's the point of this red crank thing in the future or the past, does it? I mean... So, if I'm missing very obvious things, what am I missing here? So now I have nothing but an open vent with like sewage.
Well, I mean, how? Given that's a tool that's obviously past him. But that being said, For uh, someone who just experienced a total taste revolution, right, what's on? Well, I mean, okay. oh, right, well, in there. oh, I read, by the way, huh? Well, I... Okay, okay, okay. Enough, enough of the conversation. Yes. <laughs> But I can't give them the cocktail and make life so much easier. Get you Frank is the one. Hang on. Yep, I'm pretty stuck. Has to be something. I threw this hat in the person's face. Oh gosh. What now? What do you guys? Frustrating. When the helmet is down? Uh, no. I don't know, actually. Maybe. I don't think it makes a difference, but I'll try it. Oh. Sir, please, get away f Okay, the helmet's on. Sir, 
Would you kindly step away from there? It's not safe. Yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Actually, what's down here? So, I mean... I don't think that's gonna work. I would have thought unplugging it would have sufficed, but nah. This wire, just getting rid of this wire. Say, I've spent a lot of time being frustrated today. <laughs> I'm pretty limited as to where I can go or what I can do. I mean, what could I possibly be missing? I'll admit, I'm not the best with details. Anybody, does anybody have any idea? Yeah, me neither. This is a toughie. What haven't I done? I think if I can get... What more things? I've clicked, like, everything. But click more things is not very <laughs> specific. <laughs> okay, if I can get the... Here's the thing. If I can get the uh, power cord like messed with, I can get past and get that tool. If I can get that tool, I can further crank the thing. It will probably drain the wire, which allows me to pass. The problem is, I don't know how to sever the... Wire, how to cause enough of a distraction. And thought, me, hey, maybe the disco ball, but nah. Tried stealing signs, that didn't work either. Tried stealing a hat, that didn't work. Tried pretty much messing with everything that might come loose from anything. Still hasn't worked. I have to be missing something. But what?
future. Only I could get the vet to distract the builder. Only I could steal his guitar or something. I don't even know. Okay, yes. Okay, you realize that? Yes. It won't let me even turn this. So I don't know. How do I stop this fan? Yep, nope. Unless there's something like in the water. Oh, this is the big fan. Nope. So no one can think of anything, huh? Sir, would you kindly step away from there? And I just asked to borrow the tools. We make life so much simpler. I think the letter H. I've checked. 
checked every charred pile. It's like, what else? What else do I do? Every sign, every charred pile, every door. Every corpse. Maybe this is one of those things where Hang if you... On. Where if you give it some time Hang to process, on. the answer will come. In any case... I've been streaming an hour longer than I usually do. Um, so I'm gonna finish for the night and I'll come back to this game and maybe give it some thought. Maybe the answer will come to me in my dreams. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. You guys think on it too. Help me solve this thing. We'll figure it out together. And, um, I'll continue at, like, 5 p.m. tomorrow. So, yeah. I... Uh, I'm gonna go now, so thanks for joining and everything. I'll see you guys.